Congratulations. How are you feeling? Thank you so much. I feel amazing. Is this kind of how you picture today going? Um, finish, getting signed, coming back here and talking to us? Yes, and, uh, and I said it in my interview. I'm going to go in and I'm going to finish him with the first round. And this is what I did. How confident, I mean, I mean, you sound confident and you portrayed that you were confident, but how were, were you really that confident or were there nerves going, going on in there? I was confident. Uh, yes, for sure, you're a little nervous uh, because you want to make everybody proud. So, but I was very confident, especially when I, when I, um, when I watch my video on backstage with my family back to Cyprus, my friends that, well, that they had the viewing party, then I was like, you know, I'm going to get this win, you know, 100%. What does this mean for your country, this win? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. For all of them, they are drunk now in Cyprus <laughs> because they had the parties. Uh, and uh, for Cyprus, to be the only one in the UFC now from Cyprus, it's uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. We put we put uh, uh, Cyprus on the map. We put Cyprus in the UFC. So it's it's amazing, man. Ama amaz amazing for me. Amazing for my people in Cyprus and um, the whole Cyprus in general. Is that a little bit of pressure having an, an entire country watching you? Yes. Yes. But. Uh, um, look, I love it because I have a lot of support, but you feel the pressure, you know. Uh, you have to make them proud. Uh, you have to prove yourself. But uh, that's the reason I came in U.S., you know, to sign with the UFC. I started, like, I started, like, fighting in the basements, and now I'm in the UFC. So uh, I want to inspire people, especially the people in Cyprus, uh, so that they can make it to the UFC if they, if they, if they are believing in yourself, they can do it. Where do you see yourself in five years? Five years, I don't know, I don't know. Five years is too long. <laughs> uh, what about two years? Two years. Um, look, I'm, I'm seeing myself in the UFC, still in the UFC, and uh, I'm seeing myself climbing the rankings. Were you able to talk to anybody back home yet, or are you waiting until you're done here? Yes, with, uh, with my brother and my, uh, and my sister. But uh, my phone is on fire now. I cannot. <laughs> so we already had somebody from week one signed. They have a fight coming up already. How soon do you want to get in there? It looks like Dana's getting people on board pretty quick. Um, I was thinking to fight in Madison Square Garden. Uh, because I'm, I live in New York, it would be amazing. Uh, so, yes, I would love to. Do you have an opponent you'd like to fight, or you just want to get on that card? Uh, look, I don't care who is my opponent. Uh, I'm going to beat them anyway, so, uh, yeah, I can, I can fight anybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations on the win and the contract. Thank you. You're the newest addition to the stacked Bantamweight division. What can the fans expect out of you? Sorry? Con uh, you're the newest addition to the stacked Bantamweight division in the UFC. What can the fans watching at home expect out of you? <sighs> Look, man, I'm, I'm going to bring the UFC uh, like the new era, you know? Uh, um, you know, I'm a... I'm gonna I'm gonna bring to the UFC a new style, you know. Uh, I'm a very good striker, you know, um, and I want them to know who I am, my skills, and uh, so they have to be aware, you know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, another bantamway coming out of the stack, Sarah Longo camp. What's the what's the atmosphere like training out with all the guys out there that make out that great camp? Look, we have the best gym in the world, you know, the best coaches in the world and the best teammates in the world. So uh, because of them, I'm here now, you know, I'm training with them, uh, I'm learning from them and uh, we, are, we are family, you know, anything I need there, you know, um, I can ask. Uh, I can ask anything, they can help me anytime, 
you know. So we are like a family. We are always go together, and now we are going together to the top. How important is it to have that transparency and family atmosphere at a gym? It's, you know, um, because I've been in different gyms, um, to, to, have, to have teammates that you feel that, like, your family, uh, it's very important because you know that they're, they're going to be there for you even uh, when you uh, lose or win. Um, they're gonna be there for you uh, for for everything. So um, even when we are struggle with a fight or, or in a fight camp, uh, we are always um, you know you you always can call them, can text them, and ask them you know or to help you. So that's very important for me and and uh, and for the whole gym because you know we can go out together. Uh, we are friends, we are family, we are not just uh, teammates. Thank you. Thank you. Right one here. quick one for me. Um, fighting the same week as Aljamain, how's that feel? <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Because I, you know, I see Aljamain and I want to be like him, you know. Uh, um, look, I have a long, like, a long journey in front of me now. Uh, but for me, they inspire me a lot, you know? It doesn't matter if, if we are in the same weight class, but yeah. <laughs> How does he win this weekend? Sorry? How does Al Jibane win this weekend? Huh, he's gonna destroy him. Uh, look, uh, look, <laughs> I don't know if, he's, if uh, he's gonna finish him in the first round, but 100% he's gonna finish him. He's gonna finish him. He's gonna, oh, he's gonna put him in the deep waters. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Charles Lampos. Hey. Talking about Aljo, he's facing Sugar Sean O'Malley, who came through this contender series. Obviously, you voiced your your appreciation and you oh, idolizing, in a way, Aljo. When you reflect on Sugar Sean's journey and starting where you started at the UFC, how does that give you hope and excitement for what's to come in your uh, career here? Uh, anything is possible, you know. Uh, look. Seven years ago, uh, I was fighting in the basements in Cyprus, and now I'm here in the UFC. So anything is possible, uh, and I know I can I can be there too. You know, I have the abilities to do it. I have the skills. Uh, so um, yes, because in the contender series, you know, you can see like very good fighters. You know, I think it's, it's uh, like it's a very good test for us to see if we deserve the UFC, you know? When you reflect on the times where you did fight in the basement till now and, you know, thinking about how much you've come from, what are those emotions and what, what's the outlook moving forward? That's, um, when I'm thinking about the old times, this is where it motivates me, you know, because I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. Uh, I had my ups and downs, uh, um, look, I struggle a lot to be here today. So I'm gonna give my 100% uh, because I don't wanna go back. I wanna go, sky's the limit, you know? Um, and for me, like, because it was my dream, was my dream, that's the reason I came in US, that a big thing for me, I made it, you know? I made it, so, yeah. Well, congrats on making that dream a reality. Thank you. Here's what I wrote down for you. Direct, focused, and waste no time. Seems like this is your superpower. It is. Is, is it what we're gonna look forward to moving forward in future fights with you? Yeah, you know, I'm very, um, I'm very focused, uh, and I believe uh, in myself, um, and I know I have skills, you know? And I know I'm gonna be a problem in the UFC, in the bantamweight division. Uh, so, and because I started, I started from the bottom, you know. And to be here today, um, I've been like, my God, I struggle a lot. I don't, even, I don't want to remember. All right. So, uh, because I'm very focused, I'm very motivated because uh, of my team, 
because now my whole gym is in the UFC now. <laughs> so we're gonna have more people to come in the UFC. So um, I'm gonna be a problem in the UFC. I'm looking forward to it and congratulations. Thank you so much.